There's not a lot of room to add shops or restaurants to Manatee County's barrier islands, so now local tourism officials are focusing on urban areas like downtown Bradenton and Palmetto. Revitalization efforts are already underway in both cities. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us live near the Bradenton Riverwalk to explain what they're doing. Erica? Good evening. Attractions like here at the Bradenton Riverwalk and the South Florida Museum attract visitors from all over the world. And that's why officials in Bradenton are focusing on the downtown area and making sure it becomes more pedestrian friendly. And it's growing because Bradenton is the friendly city. When Cork Miller and his wife opened Cork Cigar Bar on Old Main Street more than 10 years ago, they saw less foot traffic and had less competition. When we came on downtown, there was only three uh, other establishments like ours, and now I believe it's seven, including restaurants, and there's more to come. The Bradenton Downtown Development Authority has a Community Redevelopment Agency Master Plan. It hopes to attract more pedestrians and improve the area's streetscape by expanding space for retail tables, chairs, and street furniture. It's going to go from the river to Manatee Avenue, which will bring more and more people down here with a new, fresh look for downtown. Our future is the urban core. Elliot Falcioni with the Bradenton Area Convention and Visitors Bureau says the organization is also focusing on downtown Bradenton. The group partners with Realize Bradenton to attract more visitors to the monthly Bradenton Art Walk. The Manatee County Tourist Development Council and county commissioners are pledging up to $1 million to renovate, expand, and rebrand the South Florida Museum. But Miller says those refurbishments make it challenging to keep customers coming in during construction. We have to uh, find ways to make everything work so we don't keep the locals and the tourists from coming into our businesses on Main Street. Falcioni says revitalizing Bradenton is a core step in bringing visitors to the area and making sure they return since those visitors may potentially convert to real estate or business owners. We need to diversify our offering in the marketplace and one of the reasons aside from our beautiful sugar white sand beaches is the arts heritage and culture uh, like we have in the urban core. The Visitors Bureau also says the housing here in downtown Bradenton is vital to keeping those businesses open and helping this area grow. Reporting live in Bradenton, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Erica, thank you.